G'day, Dylan O'Donnell here from the Byron Bay Observatory. Do you like blazing? You might like the show sponsor, High Point Scientific. But what I'm about to tell you is about the Blaze Star. This is a once in a lifetime event. This is an exotic kind of stellar event. It's called a recurrent nova. It's not a supernova, it's even weirder than that. And one is scheduled to blow like right now, right now. Hopefully after I finish this video and get it edited and uploaded while it's still relevant. It only happens once every 80 years. So this particular event is literally once in a lifetime. And the crazy thing is that nobody has taken a photo of it. Intrigued? Good. Because that's what YouTube tells me I should be doing at the beginning of the video so that you'll watch through this loud and obnoxious intro. This is a recurrent nova from August 9th, 2021. The star brightened from Mag 11.2 to Mag 4.8. That's a 360 times increase in brightness. But the weird part is, the star didn't die. Normally, when stars do this, it's an outburst at the end of the star's life, as it goes supernova. But the star, RS Ophiuchi, didn't die. It's still there today. And in 2036, it will appear to explode again. How many recurrent novas do you think are out there? How many do we know about? The answer is shockingly small for such a large observable universe. It's five. These kinds of stars are some of the rarest systems we know about, and only three of them occur on human life timescales. So we don't have many photos of these events at all. I am Norme has only been observed in outbursts twice, once in 1920 and once in 2002. So nobody is really sure if its nova period is 82 years or if there was an outburst somewhere in the middle that we missed. But T. Coronae Borealis is due this year. The predictions are any time between April and the end of the year. So people are watching this star. It may do this outburst at any time. And we have front row seats to watch this occur. The star is rising now in the east, so we can watch it all night long. The last time it had an outburst was February the 6th, 1946. That's the same day that Joseph Stalin gave a national address, which basically started the Cold War. So there aren't a lot of images of recurrent novas in general, but particularly this one. There is no image of this one. If you get an image of this recurrent nova happening now, you will be one of the first. And what's even crazier is that this star, the Blaze Star, is set to increase from Mag 10 to Mag 2. That means it's an increase in brightness of 1,500 times. To give you an idea, it's going to be as bright as Alnitak. Yes, that Alnitak, the one that ruins all your horse head photos. What you'll be taking a photo of is not a star simply exploding. It's actually a binary system. Two stars at slightly different life cycle stages. At the end of a star's life, it swells up, becoming a red giant. If the star is small enough, it won't go supernova when it runs out of fuel, but it will shed its outer layer and experience a more gradual shrinking down to a white dwarf, which still has electron degenerate matter, mostly oxygen and carbon, but no fuel to keep going like a regular star. However, if one of these white dwarfs is in a binary system with a star that is still swelling in its red giant phase, it will steal some of this material occasionally when their orbits are favorable. This material builds up and eventually collapses into the white dwarf, causing a literal thermonuclear explosion. Not reigniting the star, there's not enough fuel for that, but just burning all the material all at once in one big firework display. That is a recurrent nova, and it's a very specific set of conditions, which is perhaps why we don't know of many of them. So this year, if we're lucky, and it's not cloudy, maybe just try pointing your telescope. It doesn't matter if you've got a big rig or an automatic telescope, in fact, the automatic telescopes might be more convenient for this and just let it record that star for a while. To actually see this happen in real time might be unprecedented. When the brightening occurs, we will be able to do a before and after snapshot of that area of the sky so we can compare it like we do with normal supernova photos. But if anyone can video it, I think that would be quite remarkable. Personally, I don't know if I could dedicate my telescope to just that one thing, uh, especially if this could happen any time in the next six months. And if you do it, you could be making history. 
hope this video gave you some ideas. I just wanted to get it out there to let you know the news about what's happening. I haven't seen a lot of this uh, over YouTube at all yet. And if you want to build your own rig or buy a telescope so that you can do this and maybe be one of the first in history, give our show sponsor High Point Scientific a shout. They stock all brands, they have a price match guarantee and they fully support the hobby and they support you to get into the hobby. High Point Scientific in New Jersey, but I think they ship everywhere now, which is great. Anyway, that's the video. Video. Hopefully you get some blazing done. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you've been watching Star Stuff and remember everything is meaningless and we're all going to die.